Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Ryan from GFX Port again here, uh, YTLayers.net. Uh, okay, so today I'm going to be showing you, finally, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own layout. So I'm going to provide you with a PSD file and the works here and a tutorial on how to make your own layouts and all that jazz. Uh, I've been getting a lot of messages about it, so I figured, hey, might as well help them out. Alright, so I uh, to start off, um, I'm pretty starting off, like I'm starting this off from blank. So you guys are going to get the full tutorial here. So it, it should be pretty good. Uh, it's going to be one of my first tutorials on uh, Photoshop. Uh, so first we want to start off, just hit up YouTube. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm on wireless net right now, so my internet's a little bit laggy. Uh, okay, so what you want to do, you want to find, uh, just browse around for a channel that's basic because you want to get the basic design so you can copy all the certain stuff and I'll be showing you that here uh, here I'll go to my buddy's account okay so you see his basic design here uh, you want to do a print screen but since he has a white background and there's a little uh, where the YouTube logo is we want to make that into the graphic so it blends in nice with the layout like the ones from uh, ytlayouts.net alright so um, to get that bottom white part of the show I'm going to actually select it here with that all right, so so it just shows that graphic. So when I go to edit it in Photoshop here in a second, which you guys will see. All right, so you take a print screen, and this pretty much just takes a print like a print screen of uh, like where all all the grays are and stuff, which you're going to be copying. And we're showing you that right now. So we go into Photoshop, File New, and then paste it in. Control plus V to paste. All right, so you want to zoom in now, and what you want to do is go to your selection tool rectangle marquee tool and uh, you go closest right to the edge so it's perfect and then you just start deleting so we want so we are going to be deleting this and then we're going to drag this box up you can hold shift and press the up key and it brings that box right up real quick time for you and you press delete again then as you see it's, it's, uh, it's starting to expose the layout this is going to be our template that we're going to be basing the full design around. All right, so we delete that as well there. And we want to go up to the top and delete that. <clears throat> All right, the bottom down here, uh, it doesn't really matter where you end it, just get rid of it. All right, so now we got this, the basics of the layout. So you control A, copy. Control A is to select, and then Control plus C to copy it. And then we go File, New again. And this is going to paste it fully, but we want to make it go in the middle, right? So first we paste it as its uh, original width. Then we go to Control plus V to, uh, to paste it. And then Canvas Size. This is going to center it for us. So we want to leave it in the center, but we want to leave it at the top. And we'll go with uh, 2,000 width and 1,000 height. <clears throat> and then as you see that's uh, centered that now so now you have all the left and right to work with the, the background alright so we want to zoom back in right now I'm actually going to change the background color to red so it stands out actually since uh, it's a video I'm going to make it black so it's a little bit easier on the eyeballs alright so we go to the background layer paste it in All right. Alright, so as you see here, I'm going to be, I selected the marquee tool again. And I'm going to go around and start deleting all this other uh, crap I really don't need at the moment. Whoops. Yeah, you got to make sure you're on the right layer. Alright, so we have the basic design of the YouTube original layout now. So now we want to make the graphic behind it. So we can start off, uh, first we want to make new layers. Uh, I was trying to figure out how I'm going to make this layout. Um, 
Yeah, I figured I'm just going to make it basic like all the other ones. Uh, I'll try and go with the same styles if I can remember them correctly. So I'm going to make a new layout, I mean, uh, a new layer here. And I'm going to go with uh, the rectangle tool. Um, just going to make a random layer because this is going to be the background that will end up fading down in towards black. I like using black my layers because it's uh, a pretty easy color to work with. Um, so let's actually go back to the background. Actually, so uh, we can define the different colors here while we're doing this layout. Going to make it gray at the moment. Yeah, just see on some of the layouts I have on uh, YT layouts, I usually have a background on the left and on the right side, and I also fuse in the background in the middle, but I make it fade in to whatever color the background, like the main background color is, so it flows in correctly. Uh, so now we got this, 